Oh yeah, tank walleye, Brandon. Tank walleye. 26 maybe. It's a big one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of MB Edits. I am Brandon, your host. The guy that dies in the gulag all the time, Brandon Ostrich. Dude, that's false. That's straight up, no. No, I, get out of here. Can I pull off <laughs> being home. him? Can I pull off being you? Minus no, the dude. skin color, like I feel like we kinda look alike. I don't see any difference. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. What's up everybody, welcome back. So, as you can tell, we have got John and Sam from Mendak Outdoors still up here, but it's time to unfortunately say goodbye. The boys have to head back to South Dakota and we have to capitalize on some fish. This weekend has kind of been a botch to be honest. We got on top of some fish, but we wanted to get these guys on an absolute mondo. But that did not happen. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to kick them out of the house and Nick and I are gonna have to go do it ourselves apparently. But it's been good, it's been a good time. Boys, love you. Love having you guys come up. Oh, I see what you did there. Hey. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Nick, I'm, I'm gonna miss you, Nick. See you guys. Dude, well, catch some big fish for us. Yeah, go, go catch my 30 inch here. Oh, it'll gosh. happen tonight. You right watch. when you, right when you leave, if we'll you be guys catch something, snapchat. you gotta make a part of the video to send us a picture and see our reaction. True. Oh, you you'll be that. getting you photos. You'll <laughs> be getting photos if it happens. Question is, what boat do we use today, though? I don't know. We've got a lot of <laughs> options. So we got the old 12 foot John boat. We got a 14 foot John boat. We had both of these as options for having all the guys up here this weekend. But I think we got to take the black stag out. And uh, I think this one's going to be the move. We're going to take the boat that Nick and I have been working on. I think we're going to take it out and go slay some big old fish tonight. So we're going to pack up the rest of the stuff, say goodbye to these chaches, and then we're going to get out onto the lake. And uh, we'll see you guys as soon as we get out there. Alrighty. Made her to the lake. Brandon! That a boy. Go, go, dude. Boat is looking sexy. Definitely windy out here, that's for sure. But it is supposed to be dying down tonight. Let me hop in here quick. All right, just like that, got the motor going. We are all set to get out. Hopefully we don't uh, tip this thing out in these white caps that are out here today, but I don't think we'll have a problem. One thing that we did get on this boat that you guys have not seen that is brand new, is I ended up buying a brand new Garmin. I switched over from the Hummingbird that I had to the Garmin uh, only because one, the clarity is amazing and I'm gonna be running Panoptics this winter so I decided to just go ahead and buy the unit for right now. I will end up getting the Panoptics later but that will definitely help us today on our mission to find these fish. We have fished this lake, actually yesterday we went out with John and Sam and caught a bunch of small ones, didn't film, but this lake is filled with giant walleyes. So we're gonna be sharpshooting, really trying to find these locations that these big fish are gonna be in today. And we're just gonna see if we can make it happen. So let's get after it. Oh God, yeah. Wow. Taking a shower out here today. Yeah. Trying to get us through these waves. It's uh, kind of brutal, to be honest. At least the sun's out to keep us warm. Oh yeah. We're, uh, getting a little wet out here. It's been okay. Oh god, there we go. Yeah, some of these waves are rough. You gotta think are pretty slow. Probably haul on it. Uh, like Nick said, we're getting wet, that's for sure. But we're a little over halfway there. It won't take us too long. We're gonna start making passes. We're gonna be drifting. Hopefully we can connect right away. Alright. Drop that in the water. We're already marking some fish on the Garmin. We're gonna be taking our first cast. What I'm using today is the same thing that Brandon's using. We're using eighth ounce VMC Moon Eye Jigs tipped with a chartreuse Mr. Twister. And we are using Tuffies today, not fat heads. Pretty much the same thing, just a little bigger. I'm using the glow in the dark chartreuse color for the jig. Brandon is using purple chartreuse combo and we're gonna be doing some drift fishing so we're just casting it out and basically just going into the shoreline and hoping our jig passes a walleye not sure on the depth yet for today and hopefully the GoPro you guys can hear me it is a bit windy set up for the rod this is a 7.3 medium light Fox River and I'm pairing that with a 2000 series Daiwa and 
I got eight pound braid to an eight pound floor a liter. So we're just gonna make some drifts and see if we can get some fish for you guys. It does. Oh, trying to get the foot pedal down, but I can't. This is a nice fish, Brandon. Heavy. It's heavy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't think this is a walleye. If it is, it's a tank. We finally, finally marked fish. Gotta go. Okay, we got it. That's a walleye. It's a decent walleye. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Let's go. Baby. Let's go, baby. Oh, beauty. Nice, dude. Nice net. I'm gonna get us out of here quick. Okay, this is the spot we need to be. Those were marks. Those are marks for sure. All right. Went a little deeper here because the wind is getting crazy. Show you guys. It's a nice, beautiful walleye. Definitely either going to be in the slot or just over. I'm not exactly sure. So we're going to toss her on the bump quick. Either way, definitely a nice starter walleye for sure. It's looking like it's going to be about 20. 22 and a quarter. Ooh, yep. Baby. This one is in the slot, but it's a beautiful starter fish. We definitely were, we're, we're doing drift fishing, but we're going into the shoreline. Uh, we probably went, I want to say a half mile probably to where we finally started marking some fish and started finding some rocks. And this one hit right away in about eight feet of water. But we are in about 24 right now and we are marking fish. So I think we're just going to start a little deeper, drift in. We're going to get a few pictures of this guy, but uh, yeah, it's a good starter fish. We've only been out for a little bit and hopefully we can start getting some more, getting some bigger ones. There he goes. Ah, what a, wanted to hold on to it a little bit longer, but I guess she was ready to go, so. <laughs> Good to see him go back. Definitely important to get the females back. I know we stress in every video, but it's very, very important to get the bigger ones back. So, let's get another minnow, get after it. Okay, so, last time, we picked up the camera, I caught a walleye. And it was a nice walleye, almost 23 inches. Since that moment, we've pretty much done a lot of driving, a lot of scanning, a lot of searching, a lot of drifting, and we have not even had a bite. So that's kind of strange considering we got out here, got to the spot, caught a walleye, and now nothing. And we made that pass multiple times. Sun is gonna be going down here in probably an hour or so so i'm thinking we have a few rock bars that we're going to hit and hopefully the fish are going to be on them i would like to get a few keepers but i don't know with this lake it tends to be a problem to catch one that's 15 inches because usually all they are are big but today we're just struggling to even find fish so hopefully this last hour we can really start to get them just kind of want to update everybody and tell you guys uh the struggle is real but brandon's ready he's casting he's getting ready He's gonna be hooked up real soon, isn't that right? You darn tootin'. Finally, another nice fish, whatever this one is. Hoping it's another walleye. Oh yeah, tank walleye, Brandon, tank walleye. Tank, 26 maybe, it's a big one. Could be bigger. Oh yeah, definitely bigger. Oh my God. That's a tank, dude. That's a 28 inch, maybe. Oh hold on, hold on. He's not in. He's not in. There we go. Ooh. Okay. That net sucks, dude. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Let's go. Nick. That got me nervous. Huge fish. Huge Let's go, walleye. baby. Let's go. Oh my god. That freaking got me excited. Let's go, baby. That's <sighs> a giant. Look at all it's hooked. Ready? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Ooh. That's a big pre-spawner. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. And what makes this one even sweeter? Check this out. 
See this right here? Fish is tagged. This fish wow. was put in by the DNR. I would assume probably many, many years ago, but this fish is still alive. And I'm gonna do the proper thing as well, and I am gonna release this fish. Doesn't matter the size to me, but all it really matters is getting out here for the memories, the pictures, all that is worth it. But this is a really nice fish, and Holy it's really cool God. to see it tagged. I'm gonna get a measurement on this bad boy. Yeah, that's a beast. Oh, that's a, just a freaking fatty. 26 and a half. 26 and a half inches tagged, <sighs> tagged northern Wisconsin wall. Northern Wisconsin wall. walleye, guys. Let's go. Brandon and I, this is the second weekend of opener, but we've been on some pretty large walleyes. We are fishing a different lake than what we were opener, just in case you guys are curious. But there's some freaking hogs in here. This is the lake that I actually have my PB out of, which was also 28 and a half inches, nine pounds, just like the fish Brandon caught last weekend. And this is proof right here, they do get big and they do get fat. That is awesome. Grab a few pictures and we're gonna get back on it. Guys, just like we were talking about in the intro, Colin, John, and Sam, show them that we freaking caught a giant as soon as they leave. Daddy! John, you'll never believe it. Remember oh, in the intro, we were saying, as soon as you left, we were gonna catch a giant. And sure, just of course, we did indeed catch a giant. Here, give me that. No! Let me see it, bro. Check it out. What do you think? Oh my It's not God, quite the dirty dude. 30 we were looking for, but it's a heifer. Fat. It's a mammoth, Brandon, as Brandon would say. So fat, dude. Of course, right when you guys leave, too, that's the best part about it. <laughs> it makes me want to cry, bro. 26 and a half inches, dude. Searched all weekend for this fish for you guys. This, this fish is easily seven pounds, maybe pushing eight. But yeah, we're gonna let you guys go real quick. We'll FaceTime you in a little bit, but I'm gonna release the fish healthy. All right, sounds good. Good job, boys. Thanks. Talk to you later. Oh, let's get a release on this girl. I knew it was big as soon as I set the hook. I almost thought I was snagged on one of those rocks because it hit so freaking hard. There she goes. Beautiful. God. You know, top things for sure is obviously catching the fish but right behind that is seeing those bigger females go back because there's a couple of boats out here what is if they were fishing with their 10 year old grandson or something and he caught that same exact fish now i've obviously caught a lot of fish that size but maybe that's his first how excited do you think he would be plus you got to think about that fish is going to spawn that's going to help produce this lake for how many years you know so can't stress how awesome that is to freaking release, release those big ones, but. Well, I was saying the last hour could be pretty crazy. Now, like I was saying, I was hoping for numbers, but if we're gonna get a fish like that every so often, I'm gonna be more happy about that. So we're gonna get back up to the rock bar and dangle our lines and maybe catch even bigger. So let's go do it. Yep, there's one. Yep. It's moving a lot. It does not feel like a walleye. It's a smallmouth. <laughs> okay. What the heck are you doing, bud? Okay, well, interesting. Glad I got to play today. Not the species I thought. I mean, I'm okay with smallies, but would have loved to see a bigger one. <laughs> There's one. Not very big compared to the last. Oh yeah, definitely not. Won't flip that one. All right. Well, there's the small walleyes. We were wondering where the heck they were because yesterday we were catching one like every freaking cast that were about this size. And then we were looking in the shallows and we saw like literally 150 of these freaking things up in like two feet of water. But we just noticed on the Garmin like tons and tons and tons and tons of marks, so. Just started fishing behind the boat, and that was the first one. Brandon did get hit also, so get another minnow on and capitalize on this bite quick here. Just like that, isn't that crazy? How there was none, and then all of a sudden, just like freaking a hundred freaking marks on the screen. That's nuts. Is that a fish? 
Oh yeah, I do have a fish. I was just moving us back to the spot. Look at that. I'm probably not even gonna bump them. But another small walleye. Oh, we are gonna capitalize on this real quick here. Absolute unit of a walleye. It's just crazy to think that I caught a freaking eight pounder like an hour ago. And here we are pounding on 13, 14 inches. None of these are probably keepers, definitely smaller. But it is very good to see the population is uh, maintaining itself pretty well in this lake. Definitely right, right at dark, these walleyes have moved into this rock bar, hardcore right now. They're pretty much everywhere, we're getting taps. Doesn't matter where you cast, honestly. We're marking a stupid amount of fish. It's just a matter of fact if you're gonna get them or not. Uh, we are probably gonna stay out here until dark. I do have to work at like four in the morning, but guys, I send it. I don't uh, I don't half ass it just because I have to work, trust me. If the fish are biting, I'm staying out. We're gonna give it till dark and see what happens. Whoo, alrighty. Well, we made our back to the landing. Guys, it was a pretty interesting day out there. Very, very cold. We had some pretty extreme winds earlier and then they just completely died off. And uh, which was nice because the lake was like glass when we got off and uh, we actually did go up into the shallows and even just with our headlights we were able to see walleyes all over the shorelines, lots and lots of little ones. Seemed to definitely be the trend tonight, a lot of smaller walleyes like we were saying before. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give the video a thumbs up for us, we'd really appreciate that guys. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, also hit that little notification bell, it'll let you know anytime that we post a video in the future. Leave us a comment down below of what you thought, and until next time guys, tight lines from NB Edits.